Hello, my lovely students in uh, grade 4 and grade 5. I'm very happy to be in your class, and I know you are eager waiting for me too. How are you doing today? Hope you are doing good. Nice mommy and daddy. They've all gone to work, isn't it? All right. Why you are staying at home? There, stay safe. Stay away from trouble. Stay away from uh, Corona virus too. Okay. Last week or all this while, we've been looking at letter writing. Is it not so? We've written a um, private letter. That is an informal letter. And we've written a business letter. That's official letter. We've written an application. It's not so. So last week I told you that we're going to look at flat essays. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. But we're not going to write the essay. What I'm going to do is to give you the, the structure, how an essay should be. The structure of an essay. Remember last time that I gave you the structure of an informal letter as well as the structure of a formal letter. So I'm going to give you the structure so that when we start writing a, a, a flat essay, an essay like this, on any topic. This step is on any topic. So we now follow that structure. And once you follow that structure, you'll be writing a very, very good essay. Very, very cohesive essay. All right. Now, when we say essay writing, is simply a long writing, creative, creative long writing on any topic. On any topic. Now, it could be um narrative this creative writing called uh, essay it could be on it could be narrative and it's narrative when you are going to narrate an event to somebody when you are going to narrate something that has happened before before uh, the time uh, in the time past before the time you are talking about it so we call it narrative. For instance, uh, I give, if I give you an assignment that um, write an essay on how you spend this COVID-19 holiday. Now that's basically narrative, isn't it? That's basically narrative. So you are going to tell me how you have been uh, uh, spending, how you have been enjoying this holiday. All right. So this could be descriptive. It could be descriptive. Descriptive. Descriptive has to do with describing an event, describing a person, describing a, a thing. Okay? Describing an event like a wedding. Describing a person like if I ask to describe your friend. I know you have a, a, a very close friend. There's no way you're not going to have a very close friend. I ask you to describe that to your friend. I ask you to describe an um, event like wedding, a uh, friend, or a thing. I ask you to describe uh, how your kitchen, how your mom's kitchen looks like. So it could be descriptive. All right. Now it could be argumentative. It could be argumentative. So I'm giving you the type, when we say creative essay, these are the type of essay. Argumentative. It could be argumentative. Argumentative. When it is argumentative, we are writing, we are talking about trying to win somebody to your view, to your point, to your side. So it's, it's still equally fall under uh, creative writing. Um, I know you. There's a color you like. I know there's a color you like. If I ask you black and white, black color and white color, white, which one is the best? Now, somebody will say, I love black. Another person will say, I love white. I'm giving you. Now, what you're going to be doing now, you're going to argue. Oh! I said um, this crew and body school body school which one is better which one is better 
So you are going to argue. So if you are arguing in favor of this school, you are going to raise points to support your day school. If you are arguing in favor of boarding school, you are going to raise points in favor of boarding school. So that is what we call argumentative. So it could be expository too. It could be expository. Expository. Now it is expository when I ask you to write something that will inform me, educate me, tell me about something. Expository topics are very, very straightforward, even though they are long. For instance, if I say um, write on a career or your life ambition or your future ambition, future, future ambition, even the first topic, my best friend is still expository, though descriptive. So future ambition, that's expository. So when you are writing essay, these are the types of essay that will come your way. It could be narrative, it could be descriptive, it could be argumentative, expository. So these are the type of essay that will come your way. If it is narrative, know that you're going to be narrating. I think I've told you this before. If it is descriptive, know that it will be describing. To describe so that somebody who is not there or somebody who, uh, you know, uh, do not have that opportunity to see it will follow your description and know exactly what you are talking about. If it's argumentative, it means that you are trying to win somebody over to your point. And if it's expository, you are going to be informing and you are going to be educating. All right. Having said that, an essay has four parts. An essay has four parts. Four parts or structure. Parts or structure. An essay has four parts or structure. Whether it's narrative, descriptive, argumentative, or expository, you have to structure it along these four parts. What is the first part? It's simply number one, the heading. The heading. And what is this heading? It's simply the title. The title. The title of an essay is the subject matter of the essay. The title of an essay is what the essay is all about. The title of an essay gives the audience, the reader, what to look at for in the body of the essay. So that is one. Number two is the first paragraph which is introduction. I think I've told you this before when we are preparing this introduction. So maybe this could be called revision. So introduction. What are you introducing? You are introducing the heading the title. And remember, I said that uh, it should be one paragraph. So you are introducing this. And your introduction should be very, very captivating, very, very eye-catching, very, very interesting to make your audience, to force your audience to read the other part. Number three is the body. Is the body. This part, the equal in letter writing. So you see, that is why I told you the other time when I came to your phone. The English language is very cheap. It's very, very cheap. So you still you can still realize this in letter writing. So the body, now what is the work of the body? The work of the body is to explain in full details what you have introduced in the introduction. Now, in full details, meaning that the body will contain several paragraphs. Several paragraphs. 
several paragraphs. So you now explain in details what is in the introduction. And lastly, the last one, conclusion. Conclusion. And what is conclusion? The conclusion simply means the summary of what is in the body. Is it not so? The summary of what is in the body. That is conclusion. So today, I'm going to just do one thing. The last thing I'm going to do today is show you how a paragraph is composed. How a paragraph is composed. We have seen the type of uh, creative writing, the type of essays that we're going to write, and we've seen how to structure our writing. There's one important thing that during writing that we don't observe. And that is this paragraph. That should be in the body. This thing called paragraph. How do we compose people? How do we write a good essay? And all the paragraphs there are necessary and cohesive with other paragraphs. That is what we're going to do. So after that, we we'll call it a day. Now, what is paragraph? You see that paragraph is simply a body of writing. A body of what? Writing. With, with a, what we call topic. Topic sentence. A body of writing with a topic sentence. So, if you are writing five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten paragraphs in uh, your body, it means that you have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points to expatiate, to explain. That is what it means. If you are writing maybe narrative essay, how I spent um, the COVID-19 holiday, and you have nine paragraphs, nine paragraphs in the body. It simply means you have nine points how you spent your holidays. Are you getting me? So that nine paragraph plus introduction and summary will give nine, ten, eleven paragraphs. Are you getting me? So I'm saying this because when you come up to this hour, um, to the secondary school level, we want to believe that you have this foundation so that when you are given an essay to write, you will do justice to it. All right. All right. So um, I'm going to we're going to copy a little note on how to compose a paragraph. How to compose a paragraph. So please, you copy this note into your note there, and then when we come back, we we'll look at the other structures that we couldn't um, take today. So this what is this paragraph? It simply is a body of writing uh, paragraph or uh, a paragraph and it's a paragraph. several of them in your writing and each of them 
will, will contain several sentences. And these sentences should be explaining an idea or point. Are you getting it now? These several sentences should be explaining an idea or point. Now, if you, for instance, if you travel during this holiday, let's say you travel to um, Lagos, the paragraph that will contain the journey, that's the sentence, uh, no, the journey to, from Calabar to Lagos, the sentences will be explanation of what happened on the road. It has nothing to do with when you got to your destination. So the, the paragraph there will, will contain sentences that is dealing with the journey, what happened on the way. Now, if there's need for you to say more on the way, it will have another sentence. For instance, you move from here to Benin and then Benin to Lagos. Okay, from here to, I think from here to Onisha. Onisha. And from Onisha to Benin and Benin to Lagos. Now that will mean three paragraphs. What happened from Calabar to Onisha? One paragraph. What happened from Onisha to Benin? Another. And what happened finally? To Lagos, another. So, what would be in this Calabar Tonisha has no business with this, or what would be the, in this one has no business. So, you are going to write a very, very cohesive essay, no modeling it up. So, that is what is on the board there. Each of the paragraphs discussing about one topic sentence or one point. Okay, let's continue there. We have said it that the paragraph is a board of writing, that is sentences, with uh, several sentences forming a unit in the passage. Mm -hmm. The main sentence In a paragraph, in a paragraph, is known as topic sentence. Topic sentence. It's known as topic sentence. I. E. The sentence containing the main idea, the main idea or the point, the point. So, you've seen it there. So, the main idea of a paragraph is one single sentence. And that one single sentence is going to be the topic of that paragraph. It's going to carry the message of that paragraph. So, every other sentence will be talking about this one main topic, one main topic sentence, which is this, the other separate this thing will not be the, this thing, talking, talking about the main topic sentence. Now let us say it further. Let us continue. The main idea, the main idea, or topic sentence is 
what the paragraph is all about, isn't it? It's all about. So that is the main idea. It's one sentence. Now, there will be other sentences, like we said, several sentences. The other sentence. The other sentence, the other sentence is will now be, will be explanation, explanation of the main sentence, of topics in the main, the main sentence. Or topic sentence. Or topic sentence. That is what um, that's how you write. Now, these other sentences will be explaining. Like I said, if there was accident between Benin and Lagos. So along the your right you say as we moved from Benin heading towards Ore, there was a gasoline motor accident. Now that is the topic and that is the main idea of that paragraph. So the explanation of what you know caused the accident is this other one, this other sentence. And we call that sentence supporting idea. Where is the, where is the explanation of the topic sentence? This several sentences in a paragraph is what is generally known generally known as supporting sentence a supporting sentence all right i'm going to give you an assignment then and the assignment is this thing that I've just explained. Number one assignment. Assignment. Number one. List. List chronologically in order. List in order. In order, the parts, the structure, right? the structure of an AC. Mm -hmm. I gave you that, so don't tell me that you don't know. Then number two, number two, what is the difference what is the difference between main idea and Supporting ideas. All right. Okay. So um, when we're done with this topic, especially uh, the structure proper, I will give you uh, an essay to write, especially how you spend the 
COVID holiday. But right now, since we are still in the introduction, it would be uh, it will not be okay if I give you an essay, essay, a full flag essay to write. So, but I'm leaving you with this list in order the structure of an essay. I'll give you the structure of an essay before we go into this. And the second one, what is the difference between main idea and supporting idea? And that's what is here. All right. So, having um, done all this today, I think I'll call it a day there. Stay well and stay safe. God bless you.